welcome or welcome back to the Lockwood Chronicles. My name is Larissa and today we have a book haul! <laughs> I love book hauls. They are one of my favorite videos to watch and guess what? I also love buying books to do book hauls for and um I bought I bought a lot of books. I just counted. I lost I forgot what it is. I have 14 books from what I recall since my last book haul that I did. I don't even remember when that was. Was that back in January or February? I don't know. Here's the thing. A lot of them I have read before but I really want to own the physical copies of them because I collect books and I want to collect my favorite books. So like ones that if I've read them before, I must have really loved them in order to buy them. Yeah, actually all the ones that I've read, I got secondhand. So I did a huge thriftbook.com order. So I put all these books, majority of these books on my wish list, and I've been tracking to see if the prices would drop and they did. Pretty much all of them did and I snagged those up and then because I bought so many and they were running a very big special and that bird is super loud outside. I also earned enough points for two free books and then book of the month books as well as any other books that I just picked up at random. Um, so there's that. Let's get into it because we have 15 books and you've seen a few of these before. Also I was going to plan on looking so cute for this video and um, I just got back from the gym and I said you know too excited too excited to talk about these books so you get me post gym you're welcome i'm going to start with the books that i've previously have read i bought a couple thrillers because these are my two favorite thrillers and i'm really upset with one of them because it is not the size i wanted it to be but uh the one by john mars i reference this book so many times i love this thriller so much it's so fascinating it is a take on um, a dating website using DNA and the implications of that and it follows multiple couples so there's multiple POVs I want to say the five or six so it is kind of confusing um, I previously read this on my Kindle and it was kind of confusing to like keep track of who is who and who's paired with who this DNA testing has caused the distress of many people um, like families have broken up and there have been like people have left there are significant others and it's it's a very fascinating concept and just so good and there's um, one couple that is a serial killer and a police woman and that one was crazy um so i really love 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 this thriller uh the netflix show is not comparable the netflix show <laughs> sucks compared to the actual book itself. Um, I was very disappointed in the show because this is definitely one of my favorite thrillers. It definitely took, the Netflix show took a very loose inspiration from the book. Then next up, I also reference this one a lot, is The Silent Patient by Alex Michaelides and this is about a woman who um, is doesn't speak and she's currently in a mental hospital and she shot her husband I think seven or nine times in the face and the psychotherapist thinks that she, he can get her to talk even though it's been a very long time and she hasn't uttered a word and the twist in this was crazy to me I absolutely loved this I was definitely shocked by this and then next up I just wanted to I'll just do these two together um, so I got Set On You by Amy Lee as well as X's and O's by Amy Lee and they are a companion series um, so you don't have to read one before the other but Set On You was the first book and it's the Influencer series and I read X's and O's back in February and absolutely loved it. I was kind of mid about Set On You but I wanted to own the collection because I did, I did enjoy it um, but not as much as this one. So Set On You is about uh, Crystal Chen and she is a curvy fitness influencer. It's a romance between her and Scott Ritchie, a super hot firefighter, and they have like a cute little gym romance and I love that aspect because um, I'm a gym girly <laughs> and the thought of 
finding my future husband or like boyfriend or anybody flirting with me at the gym, I'm gonna take it. And then we got X's and O's, which is my other passion, is being a like book influencer. Um, so this is about Tara or Crystal's sister Tara, who is a part-time book influencer, um, but full-time nurse. And this is about her and Trevor, who she moves in with. Tara's trying to have a second chance romance, but there's forced proximity, friends to lovers, and I thought it was super cute. Um, I thought the transcripts in this from the videos, the videos that she does, is so much better than the blog post. Less cringy than I found the blog post to be. I think I would have loved this one if the blog posts weren't so cringy of what they are, but I will say a lot of people liked the blog post better from what I've heard, and I don't know if it was my state of mind when I initially read this. And I do want to reread them both at some point and like mark and tab and stuff. Um, this cover is a little bit damaged and like crinkled, but that's okay. Well, it's it's well loved. The next book that I got, The Dead Romantics by Ashley Poston. I have previously read this and I thought it was so lovely um, and just a good, a good time. I thought it was going to be more of like a Halloween, but it's definitely not. And Florence is a ghostwriter for rom this romance author. And her new boss is, he's pushing her to write something when she doesn't believe in love in mo anymore. And anyway, so she goes home after a really tragic death in the family. And, but the thing is Florence can see ghosts and her family kind of knows, but uh, anyway, not the point. So when she shows up um, and goes to answer the door, there he is, her boss, but he's a ghost. And it's, it's, a little a lovely little romance and it also deals with more important topics about like family and um growing up as well as putting the past behind you and moving on and it was just so wonderful and i definitely want to reread this because i had such a good time reading it and i want to mark it up and i love it so much i only have two more oh just kidding three more from thrift books and this one is looking for alaska by john green i haven't i've read a few by John Green. I absolutely love them. They destroy me every time. And I've heard very good things about looking for Alaska. So just wanted to add it. I don't really know what it's about and I don't really want to go into it knowing what it's about. So there's that. But yeah, look at it. It's got a medal and that's great. I would like to read his backlist as well. Red Rising by Pierce Brown. I've heard so much about this series. So many people have told me to read this series that I would absolutely love it. So I'm going to. I don't know what it's about, but I'm excited. Sarah Caroli talks about this author so much and says she is the queen of beach reads and that is Ellen Hildebrand's The Hotel Nantucket and I remember watching I think I remember watching Sarah's video and I think she recommended this one if you're going to start with Ellen Hildebrand that this would be the one to start with and so that's what I'm doing I could be completely wrong I would love to check check this out and see if this is another author that I want to check out their backlist and she has a lot and I, I really want to have some nice lovely summery reads that I can just sit outside and enjoy. The sun, the beach, the sand, the lake, doesn't matter. Happy Place, so these are no longer from thrift books. Happy Place, you saw me do a reading vlog, I'll link it up above. And I love this book so much, so I'm so so happy that I got this book and I love her so much. and. Yeah, so this is a second chance romance, very friend heavy romance, not romance, a very friend heavy strong connection story growing up as well as the dynamics of relationships changing as well as communication in all of your relationships. I want to reread it so badly. It is definitely my happy place. I'm really nervous this is gonna topple down. Every time I go to Costco I check out the book table because they have really great deals on books and one of them was The House in the Cerulean Sea. I've heard so much about this that it's so many people's favorite books. Linus is a caseworker for uh, the department in charge of magical youth and he goes to this house by the Cerulean Sea and things things are going on and I just heard it's a lovely good heartfelt book and I'm just so excited to read this and it just seems like a great summer read. The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. I gotta get this sticker off. It is on there forever at this point. Uh, apparently Addie LaRue 
makes a deal with the devil and she can't, she doesn't die, um, but she like is living forever. However, the trade-off is no one can remember her after meeting her. So she goes through life with that hundreds of years and um, she finally meets somebody that can see her. I've heard a lot of differing opinions about this book that it's very hit or miss for people. So I, I feel like I am really late to the train on this one. <laughs> but I really love this cover. It's paperback, which I wanted. Next up, you guys already know about this one, Romantic Comedy. That was my book club pick for the month of April. So go check out that reading vlog, and if you have read it, check out the book club episode. So this is from a book of the month pick. And it is, I would call it more of a general fiction, but it, with romance subplot. So it's about a comedy writer for Night Owls, SNL and her experience with uh, work and then transitioning into the quarantine and pandemic times and finding romance and kind of going through the day-to-day -day life of somebody. You can hear all my thoughts in the rating vlog or book club episode or both. And then next up you already know this one, it's our book club pick for this month which is Adelaide by Genevieve Wheeler. And this is also another book of the month pick. Apparently Adelaide is in love and she meets this guy in London or something and she goes overseas to be with him and then apparently he's not great and toxic and sounds like a very emotional read but yeah. I love I love the cover. I think it's stunning. I got my book of the month box for this month. I'm so excited. Uh, yeah, I'm not sponsored by them whatsoever, um, but I do have a code, like a friend a friend code, a referral code, and it is always linked down in my description box below if you ever want to sign up for Book of the Month. So I ended up getting two books for May's box, and so here is their bookmark. They've hit triple digits. So here's to 100 months of the best new books. So they're 100 months old, which is really cool. The book that I chose for the pick is the... Abby Jimenez, Yours Truly. It is a companion book to Part of Your World by her. Um, so it follows the best friend. I think it's a workplace romance. I'm not really sure, but I'm excited to read this. I, I really loved Part of Your World, so I'm hoping for similar vibes to Yours Truly. But look how cute that cover is. It's adorable. There's a dog. There's a dog. Adorable. I was gonna get this in paperback. But the thing is, it's not coming out in paperback for, I think, another month or two. Add-ons, a second book, second or third book on Book of the Month. So with tax, I don't do the year-round subscription, which I really should. My monthly charge for a book is $17.99, which is cheap for a hardcover. But then any add-ons is like with tax eleven forty six or something like that for a hardcover, which is, I'm sorry, I do love paperbacks more. But also, I realize that new release paperbacks are like 15 bucks or something. I'm trying to work my way through Christina Lauren, and so I got the True Love Experiment. And this is also a companion novel to The Soulmate Equation, so I just am companion noveling it up. This is also about the best friend. Felicity, Fizzy, is lost. Sure, she's got an incredible career as a beloved romance novelist with a slew of bestsellers under her belt. And I am gonna hold off from reading that because I don't want to know. I am so excited. I loved The Soulmate Equation by them, which is a more romance spin to the one by John Mars. <laughs> so that's more of like what I was expecting this one to be. It turns out The Soulmate Equation is what I was expecting. I just cannot wait to dive deep into her story. I think that is all of the books. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'm so excited to read these and give you proper synopses or my thoughts on them eventually <laughs> over over the years hopefully we'll get to them sooner rather than later so with that being said respect others respect yourself and do something amazing with your day thanks bye <laughs>